Classical Physics Tutoring, Chapter 2, Section 1, Pascal. The, we start with Pascal's law. The, what Pascal's law said, a change in pressure at any point in an enclosed fluid at rest is transmitted and diminished to all points in the fluid. Okay, now, this means you take a fluid it could be uh, liquid or gas and this point has a pressure it didn't define what the pressure is but the pressure goes all the direction so typically you know the water depths give a pressure but the side get the pressure and the side get less 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 pressure okay. The um, the famous experiment is when you have water and you make a hole and water um, shoot out from the wall. So which water reach to the farthest? So what's happened is water shoot out like that. Why? because pressure is less here and pressure is much higher here so the bottom hole is going to shoot out further well this kind of tell you what the pressure is definition itself is kind of not clear to state the Pascal's law but we know so far that we started with point mass and that's center of gravity of rigid material and we move to the elastic material and we kind of skip the plastic material plus plasticity because it's very complicated in Newton's mechanics right now you come to extreme case liquid the shape is not there shape is up to the container and we have a gas too contained gas so which one we are talking about when we say Pascal's law well Pascal's law we are talking about this only okay it doesn't apply to the rigid material because when you push one part rigid material it just only one directional force it doesn't spread okay same thing as uh, elastic material and elastic material if you push maybe never get a little bit the same direction so it's it's different um, the mechanism inside is different then how about we handle liquid and the gas in this section using Pascal's law as I say it's quite different okay so what's happened is um, gas and the liquid the liquid is considered more like small marbles filled in the container and as you know, when you push marble, marble push all direction. So that's kind of fit to the Pascal's laws model. Okay. But if it's sand, sand has too much friction. You fill in container with sand. You push, it's make a dent, but you don't get much force here. You get more force along with this it's more like a, a elastic or plastic material characteristic that's not what we're talking about here okay we are more uh, um, like a marble kind of things um, moving around and when you hit it's 
transmit the force to every direction. So that's what Pascal's talking about. The transmitted and diminished to all point and diminished means the same force propagate all the way. So if you push one part of the liquid, it's transmitted to everywhere without attenuation. The if you have a friction, then you have get less and less, right? If you have a F, here's F is much smaller. And that's not the material we're talking about. We're talking about if you give a F transmitted to same F everywhere in the body. Okay. Is there any such a material? Yeah. I think it's a water, oil, those are the same thing. As, uh, if you have this kind of machine and you give a push, the same push F undiminished, it just propagate all the way. Okay? That's a water, oil, those material. Okay. Now of course in the long distance if you have a very long hose and if you push you get less because of the friction right but ideal liquid the, there's no friction so if you push at the F it come out F so that's the liquid how about the gas? Gas is another different mechanism, okay? Although Pascal's cover both, we try to cover both, but gas is in the room, molecules flying around all direction. And the molecule hit, bounce back, hit, bounce back, and that's create the pressure. So in the middle area, you don't feel pressure, right? What do you think? If you put the pressure gauge, do you feel pressure? Well, if pressure gauge has this little wall, then molecule hit around, you feel pressure, right? So the pressure is like what container feel? in the gas okay so if you have earth and atmosphere layers you have a pressure here right but you put some pressure gauge here then air molecule hit this gauge then you feel pressure okay so the how the pressure propagate inside the gas is totally different mechanism from the water but in both case we we handle those gas and liquid that conform with pascal's law and that's gonna that's gonna be the base of theory and that's enclosed fluid at rest it has to be resting because when it's moving flowing then force is acting in a different way the force gonna bend the direction of flowing the force act so it's, it's a different deal Okay, so Pascal's law limitation is kind of gas or liquid at the rest. And another important thing is the force pressure is transmitted to all point. Okay, that's very important. So we need to understand what Pascal is saying here. Okay. That's going to be the basic. So, the considering this gas 
right the there is a uh, you can guess how many particles flying around that's the density and the density and the pressure may have a very important relationship right okay because the water density doesn't change much you increase the pressure they don't compress water much it does a little but we're talking about distance between molecules and that distance doesn't change much so for gas we have to we have to know the characteristic of relationship between density and the pressure first okay then we have a, a the famous relationship it's called polytrop uh, polytropic index that means it's pressure and density is linear relation but in fact it's not linear it has an n here that's called uh, uh, polytropic index so this is a relationship and this k what is a k k is r over m and t temperature of course temperature goes up the molecule fry faster so pressure increase you know that and r is a constant a gas constant okay and gas constant is defined by this one okay now m what is m m is inside a container how many grams of frying molecules okay and gram is each mole has weight depend on gas O2 and N2 they are different the, is the it's a it's a bigger one has more uh, heavy weight so weight affect the uh, pressure you know so what is mole mole is Avogadro constant Avogadro constant means number of chemicals defined as the fixed number of chemicals is 10 to the 23 okay so number of molecule about this much six times that's the one mole and the one mole depend on gas has a different weight and the oxygen is like 32 grams and that's what m here okay so basically pressure is constant and density to the nth okay so this is the polytropic index and this n depend on kind of type of gas you're talking about atmospheric or uh, some kind of gas contained in the container and typically it's 1.2 to 1.4 okay now in the thermodynamic thermodynamic section we will try to uh, get the statistical thermodynamics which deal with the frying molecules within a container okay so um, we will get into more details in the mechanics it's a it's an attempt to get into the modern physics using classical theories of Newton theory okay now Boyle Marriott law so what's happened is you have C P uh, low zero N you change the pressure by changing the uh, volume right okay the take a ratio if N is 1 then we get this relationship means 
ratio of pressure is going to be ratio of um, density okay when n is 1 okay now you do that for the same gas say balloon contained the gas and you change the volume right so the volume and density is going to be inversely proportional so that means we take density equals k volume so we can establish this relationship that means pressure volume equals new pressure and new volume okay so that's a boil Marriott law now when we talk about pressure how you how we measure the pressure pressure is Newton per square meter it's called Pascal okay and Pascal like we use in the weather forecast the pressures bar so one bar is 100,000 Pascal okay and this number bar is a little bit too uh, small so we use millibar means 1,000 this take take this one and that's gonna be millibar so air pressure uh, I'm sorry millibar we take this this part top one two three four we eliminate two because it's milli right okay so 850 millibar um, to 1050 millibar is kind of pressure range we observe in the weather forecast okay so atmospheric pressure is usually one bar okay so it's a it's a 1000 millibar now the old method we had a pressure gauge for the uh, atmospheric uh, pressure what we do is we put the mercury and put up the vacuum glass tube the mercury climb up because of this atmospheric pressure okay and it's climb up to 760 millimeter and this kind of uh, pressure gauge was used before and that's called tor t o r r means the height of the mercury and in pressure reduce this value move around up and down okay so the why use mercury because mercury is much heavier it's 13,593 kilogram per square meters okay water if we use the water the pressure gauge is not convenient to use the reason is water is only 1000 kilograms per cubic meters okay so actually the mercury is 13 times heavier so think about it in order to get the one same pressure how high the water is going to climb up over 10 meter 10 meter is like 30 roughly feet high this kind of pressure gauge is not convenient to handle the grass tube to make that long is very difficult okay so use a mercury this is tall R the water we get actually a lot of pressure from atmosphere because the water you go 10 meter down and that's a kind of pressure 
we're getting from atmosphere. So you, we are already living in 10 meter below the, the water surface. This is the atmosphere all the way to uh, the space, all the gas pushing us at the equivalent to 10 meter water heavy. Okay? Okay, so we we'll get about the uh, idea of pressure. The nature of pressure is the at the rest it's transmitted to all point in the fluid. Okay? And undiminished that means the force is transmitted without any attenuations, right? And and also the it's all every direction. That's a pressure. And for the gas, pressure and density has clear relationship. The liquid, it's not clear. The when pressure increase, liquid may shrink a little, but not much. It's almost none. But gas is pressure increase by density for sure okay so that's depend on the, that's because of the different mechanism between gas and the liquid to create the pressure the pressure is totally different gas and the liquid but pascal cover both okay so i hope you enjoy this uh, section of the the fluid dynamics uh, we get into the steel fluid in the next section and the following section we talk about dynamics the flowing liquid how we deal with it and build noise uh, theory okay so um, please move on to the next section and if you like subscribe